On October the 7th, 2023, the world witnessed one of the worst acts of terrorism in the history of modern day civilization. When Hamas attacked, took hostage, raped and murdered Israelis. And if that wasn't enough, Iran and its proxies, which are Hamas, Hezbollah and the Houthis, have continued to wage war against Israel, the only democracy that functions in the Middle East, the only country in the Middle East that protects gays, lesbians, transgendered women, and those with disabilities. A nation where their secularism is steeped in traditions of all major religions, yet is still the only Jewish state. Since that time, Canadians of Jewish ancestry, Canadians who are Jewish, and Canadians who are allies with Canadian Jewish citizens have watched as they have been harassed, intimidated, frightened, yelled at, spit at, shot at in our own country. We often in this country say never again is now. As a result of October 7th, 2023, for a full year now, we're watching never again is here. Never again is now. We're watching as our neighbors, our friends, our coworkers, our schoolmates are afraid to live as Jews in Canada as a result of that barbaric terrorist attack on October 7th, 2023. As we mark the one year anniversary of the hostages who were taken, those who were murdered, those who were terror terrorized, the school children here in Canada, the disabled, the seniors whose homes have been protested at. We think of the people who want to go about their daily lives and be free. And we memorialize those who lost their lives tragically as a result of this terrorism. To the Jewish community, community here in Nepean and Ottawa and the rest of Canada, I want you to know that I understand these have been very tough, very disruptive days. But I want to assure you, you have a friend in me and you have a friend in millions of others across this country who stand with you. Never again might be now, but never again will end.